we are must be what 100 meters 200 meters away from the Shurenoma which is just right up there in front of us so very interesting also that the uh, right here would have been the the temple that we read about at the beginning so there's this monument right here and I didn't really know what it was but it turns out there's an information um, board about it as well um, it's the monument of a poem of Sonosuke Sato monument of a poem of Sonosuke Sato a poet and lyricist lyricist from Kawasaki city born in 1890 Sonosuke traveled to Okinawa and Taiwan in June 1922 and published the Ruki Island Scenery's poetry collection he passed away on May 15, 1942, at age 51. In 1959, the citizens of Kawasaki presented a monument um, of Sonosuke's poem as a bond of friendship between Okinawa and Kawasaki, wishing to offer a ray of hope to people of Okinawa devastated by World War II. The monument was installed on the University of the Ruku campus, built at the former Shuri Castle site, shaped after the Okinawa Hinpun partition wall, the monument bears a ceramic plate inlaid with a passage from Summer Evening in the Poetry Collection. So quiet, so empty, to whom shall I show the evening colours of the capital city of Shuri? So, um, it's a, an interesting gift, isn't it? Alright, let's continue. You know, after I went to the, uh, the Nagamina Sensei's monument um, opening, and I've kind of been searching all the all the Karate monuments out for years now. Um, actually, there is monuments for anything and everything, everywhere, literally everywhere. Just cross the road where there wasn't a crossing. Not really supposed to do that, but <laughs> I'm a rebel. We've just got to the Sakiyama Park. It's really close, it's not far at all. Um, <laughs> all I could smell on my way past uh, um, Zuisen was was um, the fermentation of awamori. It wasn't it wasn't great. It's a very recognisable smell. And I'd really like a drink while we're up here. So, what one should we try today? We learnt yesterday that this orange mix up there is not nice. Um, so. Get some orange. It seems like not many of these are actually available. Um, do have some cocoa? Oh, look, they're hot. So these ones here, the ones with the the blue stripes, are cold. And when winter comes, they switch the vending machines onto hot. So you can get hot tea or hot cocoa or a hot coffee or some hot corn soup, hot lemon, which has lots of vitamin C in it, uh, hot cowpis. Never had that before. Royal milk tea, uh, caramel latte, coffee. That's uh, quite the options you got. And then there's the cold ones up there. So I actually ended up choosing the, the hot caramel latte because I kind of tried all the others before and I'd never seen it. So I thought, why not? Hot caramel latte sounds like quite a way to, to spend the morning. So the latte is all right. Tastes kind of like instant coffee with with like artificial caramel. I mean, what was I actually expecting for for 100 yen um, at the vending machine? So from here we can can actually see the monument right here, and we we did our um, 100 kata, 100 kobudo kata, and our 100 kata challenge up here with with all our kids one year. 
um, they really brought the park to life. Um, and when we head on over here, you can see there's a new uh, a new monument. This one was only put up in the last last couple of years. Um, on it, it's a monument with with a kind of timeline of some of the old senseis. Shurite, Shurite, uh, Karate and Kogoro senseis on it. And then on the back, it, uh, it tells you the associations which help to, to make the stone happen. Um, it tells you where it is, and it's a place where the Rukyu kings enjoyed watching martial art demonstrations. It was also a training site and a reception house for overseas guests. Um, <laughs> The Awamori is supported, the Zuisen probably supported the, the making of the stone with uh, the Awamori breweries. So then they have a, have a carved in picture of Uchayodun, which is where the king used to come to train and to stay. And we were over there on one of our tours that's on our Asato Dojo channel, actually, not long ago. And then also from here, you have a stunning view of uh, the back side of the castle. And James and I actually entered in um, this route before, which they've only recently opened. And it's amazing. You gotta walk up a lot of stairs right up the top of it. And then you come round and down into the new gardens that they're making. You would have seen on my Shuri walkthrough the other day where the gardens that you come out at are. Um, you can see from here, you can see the, the Zuisen factory right there, the big uh, yellow roof sticking out with kanjis on it. That's the Zuisen distillery right there with the um and then off behind that you can see the gate the back gate of the castle um, and then you can see all the stairs and the walls leading up it's it's really cool that you can have this this view from here and then uh there's a view right out over shuri up here too so if we follow the path up and around uh, then i'll we'll look at the view we'll go and see the old shisa and then we'll head to lunch with Sensei. It's kind of the plan for for the rest of the day. So you can you can easily walk between between all of these sites and it won't take you a long time. Um I guess it's good good exercise for, for all the ice cream that you can eat. When you come right out of Shuri Castle they have they have a place you can get some really good ice cream. It's a stunning view that is, isn't it? So it's quite a panoramic view down out to the ocean, isn't it? That's really cool. All right, we're gonna have to start going a little bit quicker now. We're gonna be late for lunch. Um, turns out that that going on on a Becker adventure ends up adding in so many different things. And um, 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 it's kind of crazy, really. Um, just once an adventure starts, it, it it just kind of grows and grows and grows, doesn't it? Not really a quick, quick visit. So here we got a really cool shisa um, up here, one of the, the super old ones. I think it actually has some, some damage from the war as well, which was maybe restored quite recently. Um, I just love the face of this, this one. It just looks so happy. You can see here, um, it, it was, was damaged during the war. It was put here in the 18th century, so it's really old, she's a stone shishi lion of Uchaya Udun. All I can smell is our worry again. It's insane! Zusen's just right here. But we're kind of late now, so we can't go, we can't go in there, we have to go to lunch. It's 
so is when you have to be somewhere that that there's traffic and things stopping you, isn't there? Oh, Chiokunai no? Korewa, Usui Tinoa, not strong. You're close. Two more. <laughs> You're so close. A little bit more nobash there, and he will tell at it. Yeah? Almost. Like three minutes and we're finished. Three, good eye. Chikayo. <laughs> Good job. Come on, Anna. You can do it. Kyo. Two more. Three yatta. All right, I finished all my kids' classes for the day. Um, now, time to go home. Rambo Sensei gave me the most amazing present today. Um, I really wasn't expecting it. I just went to his house for lunch um, and to, to drop off a load of books to him. And I wasn't expecting to get such a such a wonderful 
thoughtful present, which was super, super nice. Made my day um, a lot happier. Made me feel very, very loved, which is always a really nice thing, right? <laughs>